Hi guys, welcome to another Pie and Belt art class. This week we're doing this ink and watercolour pencil sketchy kind of image. It's just a bit of a fun one to play around with. If you're interested in coming to our regular classes in Leighton Buzzard or Dunstable, please check my bio for my information. So the first thing we're going to do is find an image from the internet and just use this for a basis. Now I did exaggerate the kind of skinniness of the legs and ankles and stuff just to make it look a little bit more fun. You could make it really illustrative if you wanted to. And what I'm going to do is start applying the pencil down the left hand side because that's where my shadows are going to be and my right hand side is going to be my light source. So I'm going to add the colour to where it's the darkest and then I'm going to use water to drag that colour so that it heads into a lighter colour to the right. Um, I can immediately move on to the shoes, the first layer of the shoes because obviously they're not touching the wetness of the trousers. So I'm going to put that kind of ready brown colour in. Now you can use whatever colours you want, you don't have to make it accurate, it's a, if it's an illustration you're just having a bit of fun with it, but what you do want to do is leave those kind of light sources in certain areas. And now I'm going to start working on that kind of base because that doesn't really touch anything that I'm doing there either because I'm not going to bring that brown right up to the top, but even if I did and it seeped into it a little bit it's brown on brown so it's not really the end of the world. And I'm just going to have a bit of fun with the shoes, I'm going to put more colours in the shoes than I am anything else and I'm just going to kind of drag all that colour around. So the main thing when you're using watercolour pencils is to know to apply the colour and I'm going to do this exactly the same with the socks you can see. Then I'm going to apply the colour to the left hand side and drag it along and that's how you get those lovely kind of pale watercolour-y effects. Put it in the darkest point, drag it across and then it will go lighter to one area. If you don't want to have any darker point at all, like if you didn't want the darker point to be at the left and you just wanted it to be uniform all the way across, you can actually use your paintbrush with the end of the nib of the pen pencil, which I'll do a little bit later and show you. So there is lots of different ways of using these. So now I'm adding a little bit of a darker blue to that left hand side. And as you can see, I'm only dragging it across the left hand side of that, um, the trousers there. And now I'm going to start layering. Now I think that the good, lovely thing with watercolour pencils is that they dry a lot quicker than watercolours because you can't actually do like kind of big, huge washes with them. So you actually can work a lot faster than you can with watercolours, which is why you'll find during this uh, this little tutorial that I don't have to actually stop it a million times and start it again whilst I'm waiting for drying periods in between, because pretty much as I'm working on three separate areas, the socks, the trousers and the shoes, the other one has already dried so that I can move on to that one. So using uh, watercolours or watercolour pencils in this way is really, really good to teach you how you can drag the colour across. You can get a lot of um, colour from one small amount of pigment. So obviously if you wanted to do kind of a pastel-y looking thing like I'm doing here with the um, socks, you're only using the smallest amount of pigment and then dragging it across. Now you can see there I'm adding uh, a little bit of purple to the trousers. This is another thing to kind of start considering what other colours you can put in to um, accentuate those colours you've put in there already. So with the blue of the trousers I'm adding some purple and with the brown on the shoes later you'll see I'll add a darker brown and then I add um, some blue so I'm adding some yellow ochre there to give myself some kind of different colours going in the front of the shoes but then I will also add some darker browns and then even some blues in those shadowy areas and I kind of put a little bit more layering in the shoes because obviously they're the focal point of this but you could really just have a very simple kind of one layer effect going on and now you can see that that's what I'm doing like I was explaining earlier that I'm actually using the watercolour off the end of the pencil and I'm actually applying it directly where I want it to be and that's because at this point I really want to go quite heavy but I don't want it to go heavy as in I apply it and then I find out I've gone too heavy. So a way to control it a little bit more when I'm getting to these last layers is to just apply it directly from the pencils. And in those shoes, I am going to use blue, I'm going to use um, orange, I'm going to use yellow, and I'm going to use brown. Because I've only got the, uh, I think, two or three browns in my set. What I want to do is kind of actually add a lot of different colors so that it makes it a little bit more interesting. So you can see there I'm adding some blue over the top. I, I don't know if I add purple but I would add purple on top of brown. What you want to be doing is thinking about adding lots of different colours that are the darkest colours in your set. So if you've got like a dark purple, a dark blue, a dark green, all of those colours 
will work really nice with the shading effects in your shoes and if you find you apply them and they're too vibrant in the color so if they look too blue or they look too green or they look too purple all you do is apply that one layer and then the next layer you reapply the brown over the top and what that will do is neutralize that color back to brown but make it a deeper version of it so now I'm going to come on doing the ink drawing and simply all I'm going to do with the ink drawing is draw around it but then I am going to add some uh, cross hatching and some singular hatching so singular hatching is just where you do the little kind of stripes going one way and cross hatching is where you do stripes going one way and then you cross over with the other side uh, and do have a bit of fun with this you know these are super quick to do these little kind of doodly watercolors with um, ink you can do it with watercolors or you can do it with watercolor pencils and they're a super fun way of kind of practicing your watercolor skills but also getting kind of a decent picture out of it if you add the ink it makes it much more illustrative and much more easy to get your details in if you're really nervous with a paintbrush and it's just a bit of fun really they're really good for like cards for putting on the front of cards and stuff and it's just a bit of a laugh really you know always have a bit of fun with what you're doing everything is learning even if you know the end result isn't perfect isn't photorealistic sometimes that's not what you're after sometimes you're after something a little bit more illustrative and a little bit more kind of artsy and that's absolutely fine you know so i'm literally using a basic pen that we get from tesco's here basic fine liner that you can get from tesco's or wilkinson's or anywhere like that um, if I was to go a bit more advanced, I would get a micron pen, which is a bit more permanent. So it means that when you're using it, you could reapply some watercolor over the top. With this one, the ink will run because it's just a simple fine liner. But if you've got a micron pen, they usually are a bit more steadfast so that you could actually kind of reapply over the top and it wouldn't ruin your picture. But at the moment, I'm just having a bit of fun with it and just getting used to it. And that's what I want you guys to be doing. You know, if you are a beginner and you're just learning, everything is is experience and everything is helping you to find out what kind of art you like creating if you like creating more photorealistic or if you like being more illustrative and free with it and you know everything is just experience when you're really beginning out so now i'm just adding all the fine details of the kind of stitching and the laces and i'm also going to put some cross hatching on the socks and on the shoes and a little bit of shadow underneath so this whole picture I think took like less than half an hour to create, I sped it up a little bit just to make it um, quicker for you guys to watch but literally it's super super quick, even if you did it with watercolours it would take a little bit longer because obviously watercolours are applied a bit more wet but it really wouldn't take that long even with watercolours. I didn't tape down all the way around the edge of the paper like I usually do with the watercolours because the paper's not going to buckle with this small amount of water on it. And I'm giving myself as much detail as I want, even like stripes on the trousers. Sign it and give yourself a little shadow. And we're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was just a bit of fun really and I thought I'd do some guys legs because brogues and socks are always lovely to have a bit of fun with. You can do the socks whatever colour, you don't have to follow the picture. You could do spotty socks or whatever. In fact, a lot of three smaller legs with different coloured socks and different coloured shoes would be a really nice little front of a greeting card or a Christmas card if you did Christmas socks. So it's just a fun little thing for you to play around with. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Bye.